Morning. Thank you. statues were installed. On some day, about 322 years ago, we don't know exactly what day, Statues endure if they do endure for 322 years. And if there are people here, we can hope that they'll look at these statues and understand that Tucson is a remarkable community of individuals and institutions who understood that humankind is linked over time by the human condition. These people didn't know what their future held. And despite all of our advances and all of our technology, we don't know the future for us either. And so their surprise, their wonderment, their struggle with change is the same one that we struggle with today. And in that sense, we're linked with them over time uh, by our common humanity and the fundamentals of the human condition. And so this great monument here uh, is emblematic of that. Mm. 
There are many, many people who have been involved in bringing this to life. But in every project, there's a linchpin, one person, who, without him, it, we wouldn't have made it. And that person is Josefina Cardenas. Before I ask her to come up, though, uh, I want to make a special mention. The descendants of these people, the descendants of these people who had the first sighting are here with us today. And we honor you. We honor the Ogodon Nation and your 4,000 year old presence in this region. Thank you for being here. you to come up. Please give her a big hand. We wouldn't be here without her. Nuestros antepasados 
la gente de Otan, Pohokam y muchos, muchos indígenas que nos enseñan y nos demuestran que primero debemos de cuidar nuestra madre tierra, nuestras familias, nuestros hijos, la naturaleza, los animales. Que si no fuera por el Otan, no supiéramos ese agradecimiento que debemos de tener. Y también este momento, que es la primera vista, tener en vista que estamos aquí presentes y dejar atrás el rencor, el odio, para poder tener paz. That we want to leave behind that, that greed, that envy, that, that hurts us. Because if they were hurt, we don't want that hurt anymore. That we're going to continue on a different path. And then I'm sure that's why we're here to, to make that reflection, because if not, we wouldn't be here. So I thank of all of us that are here in one, in one family, one people, one community. So I, if I've been given permission, and I ask if the chairman, Austin Nunez, would come forward. Thank you, Chairman Nunez. Chairman Nunez is chair of the Sanitary District of the Obodan Nation. If uh, Mayor Rothschild could join us now, uh, the members, the royalty, Winona, you and your royalty could join us up here now. Please, we're going to uh, take the ribbon uh, of the statue. How's that? Can you still hear me? If uh, Regina and the other speakers, Rob, can join us, Raul Ramirez, uh, the supervisor of the Representative Grijalva is representative here. Congressman Grijalva is representative. Cassandra Becerra. And there are probably many people uh, that should be up here with us right now, too. But uh, is the Consulado Mexicano here? on the ribbon and we could have a symbolic uh, hand joining perhaps so that the whole community is a part of this unveiling. These folks. No scissors. Just pull. Just pull. Just pull. <laughs> no. <laughs> No quiso. Ah.
Verachana, who I think are all this, also a sketch, uh, was actually the, the artist of sketch, what uh, Mr. Mena had done in the same day. Uh, Greg Hart, the source media cartridge, was saying that this was the earliest stage to go this building was created. And uh, the Barrio neighborhood there, and at the base of a mountain, and all the uh, entities and donors provided funds for the monument's construction. May the compassion, respect, understanding, and positive energy that went into the monument's creation be retained in our hearts, minds, so that all mankind can live in harmony and balance with all of Creator's wondrous gifts. Thank you all very much.